Let's just hope we don't lose the top five in the first caution today. Welcome to Richmond for the Pontiac Excitement 400. I'm your host, Dragon Knight Cole. Soup McGee. Stop trying to eat my, the, the mic. I'm not. Anyway, we're at, unlike last time, we are joined by a third commentator. Go ahead and introduce yourself. The Q-Man is back. Q-Man is back, and he will be in-car recording. Stop eating the bottle, you dingbat! Q-Man will be driving the Racing with Jesus Dodge as our in-car reporter. Let's go over the starting grid before I beat Tyler senseless with this bottle. Backgummit, Tyler. I didn't do anything. It's Soup McGee to you. I'll call you Swiss cheese if I want to. <laughs> anyway, starting on her first ever poll, it'll be Jessica Shelton in the Pokemon Soul Silver Ford and Keb Shearer. What that? Keb Shearer in the STP Pontiac. Julius Anderson in the XI Batteries Ford, and Cole Deaver in the Jim Goodwin P Service Plus Camaro. Then you have. Chelsea Bowles in the Penske Dodge, and Jesse Turner in the Interstate Batteries Pontiac. Jim Gambit, Bug King of Beers, and Ken Bell in the Haviland Thunderbird. Yeah, going back to his Davy Allison car. Then we have Nick Gunther, the California winner in the Penn State Chevrolet, alongside Kyle Matthews in the Mellow Yellow Pontiac. Charles Sanford, Pokemon Heart Gold, Ford, and the Vaveline Ford of Junior Ramos. Then we have Michael Anderson, the Hot Wheels Pontiac, and Fitzy in the Penske Dodge. The Office Depot Chevrolet of the of Nate Bell and Sean McKean, Westerano Chevrolet. Then you have John Gambit in the Kellogg's Corn Flake Chevrolet. The very first Richmond winner. Wait, John Gambit won the very first Richmond? Yes. Won the first won the Pontiac Excitement four hundred season one. I could have sworn that was Leo. No, Leo son won the second one. Okay. And then we have Boldy Bear, the winner of the wreck fast known as Wilkesboro. I, I try not to think about that race. Then we have uh, Annie Thomas and the John Deere Ford and Martinsville winner Eli Bright in his Skull Blue Chevrolet. Darian Taylor, Skittles Pontiac, and Jeff Bright, Kodiak Chevrolet. Then we have Johnny Gardner bringing in the 2003 Miller Lite Dodge. He will be alongside William Brock in the Kodak Max Film Chevrolet. Tide Mountain Spring Ford of James Qualls, Bristol winner, and then the Daytona 500 winner, uh, Jordan Anderson in the Racing with Jesus Dodge. Kind of in a downhill slump as of late, but we we, we we freaking jinxed this guy yesterday uh, in the cornflakes race. We talked about him, and then he wrecks. Yeah, watch that one when when you get a chance, Quentin. We jinxed the poor man. Then we have Jonathan Zorlin in the Quality Care Ford Thunderbird. The Phoenix winner. Thank you, I was about to ask. And Zach Ryan and the Cheerios Ford. Low Chevrolet of Jordan Strunk. Home Depot. We have the, it's the hardware store or the home improvement row. And Ignis Kersey, the Home Depot Pontiac. And you have our points leader as of right now, Elijah Gordon in the Sitco Ford. He will be alongside Philly P, Phil Parker in the Mobile One Dodge. Rob Evans in the Bud King of Beer Chevrolet and Tyler Deaver who let's just say his 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 look is no good. It's no good in the DuPont Chevrolet. And you have Jordan Bell in the GM Goodrich Oreo Chevrolet and there's our in-car reporter Quentin Moore bringing out a green racing with Jesus Dodge this week as we're about to get the command to go racing here. Drivers! Start your engines! I believe that's the first time I heard this guy. Anyway, before you get anywhere, 
Finishing off the grid with Venna Williams, Dylan Young, Gatlin Downey, Leah Sutton, Joshua Sakuli, and Chubby. And remember, Cameron one is very bad at going into turn three, so we have to use camera two going in to turn three for most of the technically for the whole race. Boogity, boogity, boogity! Let's go race boys and girls. Last short track for a while. Yeah, next week we go to Texas? Yes. Oh, hey, Julius Anderson. Or, yeah, that is Julius Anderson. Tell me. Tell me. Oh, the three wide, the three wide. Nate oh, Bell. Oh, Jessica Shelton getting a run off the oh. line. Let's go back to John Gambit as uh, Nate Bell was three wide there. The last time I saw it. Yeah, oh, he's still there. There they are. Let's go to camera one because this is where we get the best view going into turn two. We go, we go back to camera two, going to turn three. So far, everyone's kept. I think we, I think we made it further than the point. And we got, and we got our first lead change of the event. Uh, Julius Anderson, Chelsea Bowles, Chelsea Bowles looking to try and get the first lead. And then you got this guy in third, who is actually second. In the uh, no, uh, Elijah Gordon. Well, he might have been. We'll have to come back on the video. Right now, Jim Gambit third. Fourth in the shiny Mimikyu. And look at that. Pokemon cards. Uh, fourth and fifth. Right now, uh, Julius Anderson out in front with Chelsea Bowles and uh, Jim Gambit right there. Now all we need is the Pontiac and not too far back. Michael Anderson. Oh, three oh, wide. Hold your line. Hold your line. Hold your line. Michael Anderson going ball to the ball. And we got our, another lead change on the way. Chelsea. So, let's go. Let's find our in car reporter. Oh, right. wait, wait, wait. Gambit. Oh, Gambit's thinking about it. He's going to get it off the of one here. Gambit going for it. He he guns it. Oh, we caution! Got, we got caution light. First caution of the day. Oh, Dylan Young. Looks like Dylan Young and Daniel Boyle have been involved. Let's see if they can slow down this time. Oh yeah, but there's not a big stack up, so yeah. So Jim Gambit will take the lead. And what is the 99 doing? I have no clue. Alright, so with that out of the way, we're about, we're about to find out what the heck happened to Dylan Young to bring us out under caution. Don't go anywhere, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, so here we are with the Wheaties helicopter cam. And don't worry, I asked Soup. He indeed does have his referee suit on, so we might see a wrestling match here soon. Or scrap, whatever he calls it. But anyway, Soup, give us the play-by-play -play of this first caution. Well, Boldy Bear, Daniel Voles, Daniel Voles, like, come down on Boldy Bear a little bit. And Boldy Bear goes into Sakuli, drifts him up, spins Daniel Voles out, hits Dylan Young, who bounces off the wall, and then bounces off Eli Bright. And um, yeah, that that's pretty much it. Oh, Philly P playing dodge the teammate there. And then there's uh, Daniel Voiles, who has not had the best of Weedy's luck. Daniel Voiles is not going to be eating at Subway anytime soon. All right. Let's go. Let's go back here. Let's go back to our live feed, ladies and gentlemen. Right I'm, sh now. I'm sure he says that Boldy that Boldy Bear is not fresh. Can we please can it for right now? Anyway, so with no serious damage, hmm. we're in TV1. Need to go to TV2. Jim Gambit is your current leader in the NASCAR we or in the Pontiac Excitement 400. We'll be right back after these commercial minutes. Well, we get the one to go here. Jim Gambit's going to lead them and. All 42 cars are in the field right now. 
for now. Yeah, for now. Green flag! Restart! Sanford tried to look duck under there. But not better of it. But he won. But here, first Battle move. for the lead! Well, well we got, I was going to say, Mimikyu was going to make the first move of the lead. Or technically he did, but now we got a battle for the lead. Chelsea Bowles under Jim Gambit. Then you got Ju Julius Anderson, who's... Whoa! Oh, got a little loose! Yeah, getting way loose into there. Here comes, here comes the Bristol winner! Oh yeah, James Walden's up there, but that could allow Chelsea to do it, but... Uh, Whoa, we're under caution! Once again, who died? Oh, jeez. Ignis uh, Kirk's died, I know that. He just got, he just got, uh... Well, someone else is here. Oh, Eli Bright. Well, uh, looked like a minor bump, bump and stuff, so... Where's the smoke from? Oh, there she is. Alright, so, with that out of the way, let's go back to commercials, or, well... No, first we gotta go to identification, then. Okay, so here we are with the replay, and just looking at this, you know this is this is a disaster waiting to happen. But keep your eye on the 86. He's actually gonna get into Eli Bright, which causes him to get, get into Ignis Kirksey. And then that's going to force him back down into Eli Bright, who bounces oh, into but, Jordan uh, Anderson, and they both spin. All three spin, and... And Eli Bright just barely tapping the wall there, and Kirksey just a little... He's a little more saltier for his britches. We go well, back... He, well, he needs to go to the... Like, if he wants to be real salty, he needs to go to, he needs to, go to the ocean. We go back to our current live feed. Chelsea Bowles in first, Jim Gambit second, Charles Sanford third, Nick Gunther fourth, and Julius Anderson all the way back in fifth. So, don't go anywhere, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, so here we are with the green green flag. And now here it is. Chelsea Bowles lead. And Jim Gambit is right behind her. So we're about to, oh. it's been mainly these two, but we're about to see two new competitors in this race. Gunther and Sanders. Oh, oh, Gambit. We are still under green. Jim Gambit looking under Chelsea Bowles. Ain't going to bring Charles Sanders. Oh, look at Gunther. Three wide, almost three wide. Almost three wide. They're three wide right behind Johnny Gardner right there. Michael Anderson, James Walls, and Julius Anderson. Just to show them, trying to figure out where she wants to go. So falling behind Falls. And now, oh, Falls. Anderson gets a little loose. Uh, the game is going to take the lead. Yeah, yes. the game is going to lead. Now Gunther coming in with the blue. And look who's coming. Johnny Gardner. Johnny Gardner trying to bring the blue deuce. To victory lane. Now, now, now that we got, we're getting racing on. Let's check in with our in-car reporter. Quentin, you're back in. It looks like you're in 34. How's the car running? Uh, well, it's hard to tell since Tyler's pouring paint on the track every lap. What do you think? Quentin, what was that? Or handling or something? Yeah, Tyler's pouring paint on the track every lap. Ah, alright. Do you think you'll be able to... Do you think you can salvage something? I'm hoping that we can do something here at the end. Alright, well, we're gonna get back to the lead, so we'll check that out later. 10 4. Alright, let's go back to the lead. Oh, we got a new leader, Nick Gunther. Gunther in first, Jim Game in second, Sanford third. Uh, battle for third between 
four cars. Uh, Johnny Gardner, Darian Taylor, Michael Anderson, Chelsea Gold, and Jessica Shelton is about to throw her name into that hat. So now a five car battle. And this one, I believe Gorland is marching his way to the front. Starting way back in the back. Glenn is also making his way forward. Points leader. That is not what the 25 wants to see right now. Because right now, he, the 25 and the 21 are currently the two best cars at the point right now. And Elijah Gordon is definitely trying to march forward here. And he's trying to follow James Falls and John Gant. Oh, oh, that's not how you want to do it. Speaking of another car high up there, right there, big Gordon Strong. Now we gotta go back to the leaders. As, see, this is why we gotta keep it on the leaders because now Jim Gambit has the lead and Nick Gutler's right behind. And Charles Sanford, he's right there. Charles Sanford looks like he's uh, losing track a little bit, but Gunther going for going for another move. And then you got and then you got the two retro racing enterprises cars, third and fourth, and then you got this gag over fifth. And it's like the fourth because they're right there with just the show. Yes. And Bell looked like he was in a three wide situation. Take a look at it. Yeah, they're getting they're getting some crazy races here. Oh gee, Ken Bell is in the middle of a 42-43 sandwich. Matthews, Matthews wisely backing out and Cole Weaver can let like Ken Bell in the line. There's the hey, there's the oh, Cole. There's the, there's the seventh car. Yeah. Quietly creeping her way towards the front. Creeping her way towards the front. And look who is coming. He's just falling on the inside, man. You just gotta go on that inside. And you gotta go, man. Cute, cute man, you are on a roll. No, he's losing spots. Well, now we gotta get back up to the front because... Well, it's still Jim Gambit right now. There's a, a nice three two car battle between Jim Gambit and Nick Gunther. So Tyler, um pursuit. How, going in like with how these two cars are right now, who who do you want to put money on? Well I put my well see the fifty five they won a race this year. It's been a while since Gambit won his race back at Sun in Sonoma, in Vinia, so he has a
right in the area? seems to be on hold right now, so... Oh, jeez. Well, the same... Or not same, or, uh... Same song. Well, the same thing going on right now, but... I'm about to catch the lap car of Ignis Kurtzy, who is... Probably too... Is really beat up right now, and... Eli Bright just... He just seems can't not keep, be able to keep up. And then David Boyle, well, he's in turn two trying to salvage something. Oh, gee, there. Well, here's Jim Gambit in first place. Going right under uh, Nick Gunther, and they're going to easily put. Ignis Kurtzy one lap down. Okay, he's on hold. Okay, so sorry about that folks. I had to make sure it wasn't my end. So number 25 and 55. That duking it out. Now Charles Sands are gonna move the 20 out of the way. And you got just up the shelf and forth and battle right now we got a battle for this between Bowles and Julius Anderson. Now Jim Gambit approaches the, lap, the soon to be lap for Eli Bright. Both he's gonna dive down the bottom but Eli Bright there. But he's gonna give him room on the high. So Jim Gambit's gonna go past. Nick Gunther looking to follow suit. Oh geez, looks like Nick Gunther is losing ground a little bit on 25. Gunther tried need, to try to drill back into 55, or to 25, excuse me. Jim Gambit looking like he's cruising. Let's take a look at some notable cars right now. Right now, let's take a look at where Elijah Gordon Oh, geez, Elijah Gordon is not in a good spot right now. Caught up by... Yeah, Quentin's on hold. I don't know what's happening. But it's been, uh... We've been great. We've had... This is the longest three-five stretch ever. Um... Uh, Oh, there's But yeah, uh, ever since, uh, going around the lap car, it's like, what, they caught Ignis Perksy and Eli Bright and put one lap down. It's like 55 get, or 25 getting away from the 55, and that's a pace car. And that's going to allow Charles, and Charles Sanford slowly creeping his way up to, up to, um, second. But yeah, Quentin, you with us? Yeah, it's M4. Alright. You're right now currently in 15th spot. How's the car feel right now compared to earlier in the race? It's still oh, about the same. Your... Still struggling a little bit. Whoa, whoa, Jordan Anderson. Jordan Anderson was like... Okay, sorry about that, Clint. You were... We thought you were in 15, so it turns out you are clocked in at 32nd, but you're going forward. Yeah, the car's still a little bit tight, but, uh... I think it'll uh, get better as the race goes on. Alright, buddy, we'll, we'll check in on you one more time before the race is over. 10 four. Let's go back up to Jim Gambit. Gambit just running away at this point. Man, that's big talk about a turning point in the championship. Gambit's like second in the point. Leaving, probably gonna lead the most laps. 
Gunther's trying his best, but I think he he needs to be more worried about the fact that there's a yellow Pokemon Heart Gold card right there, and then got Jessica Shelton in four. Chelsea Bold is able to put some distance between her and Julius Anderson, so she's running with fifth. Six is Julius Anderson, seven is Michael Anderson, eight is Gary Taylor, James Paul's Knight, and the battle right now is for tenth with, Je with John Gammon going under Johnny Gardner and Jordan Bell trying to follow suit. And you got Jordan Strunk, Jonathan Gorman, Jesse Turner, Joshua Cicuni, Junior Ramos, Ben Williams, and then this, this gaggle right back here, all way back in the pack. Thunder points leader. Uh, Elijah Gordon was last clocked in at 24. Not having the greatest day. Well, he was doing well, but then he went backwards in a flash. And the next, oh, so they caught, they caught, uh, they caught, so Agnes Kurtz, he's going to be the next part of the have to deal with again. I'm honestly surprised that Daniel Boyle is still able to run, not only run, but stay up there. Killing the all he's got is some side damage, so uh -huh. it's my... Anyway, back to your leader, Jim Gambit. Oh, battle for third! Jessica Shelton says, Sayonara Charles! So now Jessica Shelton may be showing some muscle here, but does she have enough time? Who knows? Definitely won't have enough time if Charles decides to get her a little bit of money. Yes. What, what might be the key here is if what happens when if, when Gambit catches the lap Ignis Kirk's if he catches him in the if he catches him at the, at the wrong time, wrong place, wrong time. And that's going to bring everybody right back to Gambit. And we're under caution. That could also change things. Whoa! Eli Bright! Oh, well, the, well, I think we figured out what caused the caution. Oh, whoa. But then 25 is going to slow down in time. Looks like yeah, yeah, every, I, I everyone think they, else took caution flag, but Jim Gambit didn't. So he's just going to... Slow down. That is probably the one thing he did not want to see. So, with that take... Oh, and now lap traffic can be a factor. Well, they're so slow, I don't think it will be. Well, let's go back. Let's go back and see. Actually, we know you may not be wrong because depending on when we get the restart, we could get the restart with less than 10 to go. Let's figure, we'll figure that one out, but first we'll take a look and see what happened to Eli Bright. Alright, Soup, well, with this set one and done, let's see how this, go ahead and give us a play-by-play. -play. Well, Gatlin down, he's going to get on the inside of Eli Bright, and just turns him, just turns Eli Bright. Eli Bright's first ride just wrecked him. Yeah. Yep. Well, and remember, Eli Bright... So it's the one car that's cursed, not Eli Bright, because Eli Bright just has won a race this year. But now, but yeah, Eli Bright goes for a loop, and did, yeah, his day goes from bad to worse. So if we go, let's fast forward the live feed. Right, is Jim Gambit your leader right now? But will, but will he stay? That gummy camera. Will he stay leader when we take the checkered flag? We'll be right back. Well, lap traffic will not be an issue because they'll take the restart with 10 laps to go. So, lap, so now it's going to be who can get the best restart. You got two Chevys, two Fords, and a Dodge in the top five. Let's see what happens. Great flow. Jim Gambit and Nick Gunther getting a great restart. Heck, Jessica Shelton also able to throw her name in the hat. Whoa, Chelsea Bowles. Oh! Wow. Chelsea Bowles has been wrecked. Oh, no. 
Battle for the lead! He's gonna get it! Damage, Damage still. Let's make sure Bolt didn't hit anyone. No. Tough break for that. Tough break for Chelsea Bowles was in fifth place. Had a top five, and then this happens. Yeah, Chelsea Bowles is not one hand happy camper, so get ready for it. Just put your referee suit on. This is going to get crazy. We've already had some shoving going on between the 16 and 17. Well, uh, well, the, everyone's, uh, trying, apparently everyone's trying to get, uh, fixed or whatnot. Yeah. But anyway, we're gonna, we're gonna put it on, uh, replay and see what happened to the, to the leader. Leader. Oh, or no, the 12 card. But before that, <laughs> I don't think anything will top what we saw last night when we saw the Jack a uh, Jack man go for going for the cross go for the Jimmy Snook across body the cross body man. We're going to replay. Yeah, this is just a disaster in the making. Three wide here, and Julius Anderson just gonna get in Chelsea Bold's uh, left rear corner panel and send her for a loop. Dumped her worse than Dragonite Cole's invisible girlfriend. You douchebag. Hey. Let's go to the live feed. Alright, so Jim Gambit is your leader. We're gonna get a restart. It just depends on how many laps to go, so we'll be right back to answer that question. So we're going to get a restart with four laps to go. Jim, Jim Gambit, Nick Gunther, Justin Shelton, Charles Sanford, and Darian Taylor in your top five. Chelsea Bowles is probably going to be looking to sucker punch Julius Anderson after this. But before that happens, Say those words one more time, though. Three start, three flag! And Jessica Sheldon did not get that good of a restart, but it's gonna, so it might be the Oh, Ooh, Gambit slid! Gunther's there! Yes. We, we saw Gunther before the, when the caution came out. Alright, pace car. He got a run there, so maybe he's just got, he's gonna, he's there. It's just, when will he make his move? Will he try to dive bomb it here in the one? Oh, Sanford going back for third. I think, I think Gunther's better in three and four. Gun, Gunther's looking for it. He's better in three and four. But can he do it going into one and two? Two laps to go. The outside has not been good in one and two. Whoever's on the bottom's at the advantage. Here they come, coming to the white flag. <laughs> Gunther. Gambit's kept strong, but, Gamp, but Gunther clears. White flag for Nick Gunther. Can Gun... Now, can Gambit get him back? Gambit trying. Could this be the heartbreak for Gambit? Will Gambit get the heartbreak? Just like Elijah Gordon. Yes, Nick Gunther. Get the second win. Wins the funny excitement 400 at Richmond. So Nick Gunther making the pass with two laps to go. The steal a win from Jim Gambit. But you gotta get props to Jim Gambit. That's probably the most they're probably gonna take the point lead from that one. But let's go over the official lineup. down the, the starting lineup and also all 42 cars finish cornflake what is your excuse anyway nick gunther jim gamut charles sanford julius anderson <coughs> Ma michael. michael anderson the uh, highest running pontiac johnny gardner jessica shelton 
Darian Taylor, Jordan Strunk, Joshua Sakuli. Rounding out the top ten. Dude. John Gambit, jo- Jonathan Zorlin, Jordan Bell, Kev Shear, Venno Williams, good top 15. Jesse Turner, James Qualls, Junior Ramos, Fitzwater. Fitzy. Annie Thomas, Kyle Matthews, Tyler Deaver, Boldy Bear, Sean McKean, and Ken Bell. Rounding out the top 25. Then you have Cole Deaver, Jordan Anderson, Nate Bell, Elijah Gordon, uh, Jeff Bright, Leah Sutton, William Brock, Gatlin Downey, Phil Parker, Daniel Boyles, Quentin Moore, all the way back in 37. Uh, Chelsea Bowles, 38. Uh, Dylan Young, 39th. Zach Ryan in 40th. And then the two lap cars being Ignis Kirksey and Eli Bright. Well, this has been a production of the NASCAR Wheaties Cup. We hope you enjoyed your. We short- just had a big up. We just, we have a big fight. Pit Road is the twelve and ninety nine. Chelsea, ooh, Chelsea just nailed Julius Anderson with a lariat. Spear, spear, gas man in the spear. Okay, uh, quickly before things get out of hand, this has been a production of the NASCAR Wheaties Cup. We hope you enjoyed your. Short track swing. Next week, we're going to be hitting it at Texas. I, I, I'm i going to go ahead and I'm going to go start writing some wills, you know, because Texas has been known to do that. To some it's not as bad as Vegas, but yeah, it is kind of a death trap. So, anyway, this has been your host, Dragonite Cole. Soup McGee. And Q Man, we thank you again for joining us in the booth. Thank or, you. Well, technically you're the in-car reporter, but we thank you again for joining us. <clears throat> My pleasure. Man, it's not, it just seems like you had a good car there in the middle of the race, but then it just went away there at the end. Yeah, I don't know what happened to it, but... Oh, well, on the next week. All right. Until next time... Congratulations, Nick Gunther, for getting his second win. And we will see you all next week at Texas.